Hello there guys and girls, welcome back to another pre-recording with me Scuderia back on Renabu Farm. Right, okay, we are in the forest area. I'm just down to buy one of these new winches. Guys, I'll update you what's going on. I'm literally just in, in here myself. Right, okay. Let me go to the shop and let me go to this new forestry. Uh, equipment. No. Okay. Six point six ton and eight point six ton. That needs sixty horsepower. That needs eighty. It's the tractor for that thing there. Uh, I was looking at it there earlier on guys, where is it? I just quickly jump over there that I remember large tractors. Uh, where is it? Actually it's not in there, it's under forestry isn't it? It's under forestry machines. Where is your, where is it? Place of that beast. I'll have to give that a try, like, just can't afford it at the minute, guys. I'll explain why. I had to borrow another 100,000 off the bank there. Uh, I'll explain why. I'm having to ease myself into this forest. Forest work again, guys. It's been a while. Right, okay. So I bought myself a forwarder, uh, an auto load version. I was always going to buy that, guys. I've got it in the game, but I had to borrow a hundred thousand to actually be able to 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 buy it, guys. Right, where was the forestry? Yeah, we'll we'll buy this expensive one and give it a try and see what's what. It's only going to be as strong as the machine it's on as well, I suppose, but, well, it's not, but you know what I mean, it is, but, yeah, let's buy that, that leaves us with about 28,000 in the bank, not a whole lot, but the money's going to start rolling in here shortly, guys, right, I was actually thinking of getting rid of the MB truck. Uh, <gasps> unbelievable. Yeah. I can stay just now, guys. Right. So I bought the big the big Volvo, didn't I guys up there? Probably wasn't the correct buy. It's a bit slopey up there, guys. Uh Right, let me just highlight this tool. Right, so you don't need to turn it on or off, do you? Well, it's not saying I do. Uh, hang on. Highlight the actual truck instead. Nope. Okay. So if I just jump out... Winch rope is R. Okay, this rope is R. Hmm. Okay, we'll give it a try for a while. I've got the original there anyway, uh, the modded version there anyway, because I've got used to that over the years. Uh, but we'll try both. Here, it wouldn't be fair not to try this and give it a try anyway, guys. Right, I'm going to go and put the original on the front and then I'll send this guy. I will just drive it back. Ah, that's a pain. Because it could be doing with that cedar as well, guys, that planter. It's okay. Right, 
it will take both versions up here. Right, I meant to put the game clock. That's it. Times two. Right, I'm going to jump inside this chart. So yeah, what happened here? Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, I got set up in the forest area, I think, the last time we were together. Uh, and the Volvo originally had the, the wood processor on it, didn't I? I had the big processor on that option because you can do, you know, you can do big heavy, big heavy cuts with that. Uh, or, you know, large diameter trees. Uh, that's the Vico. It's just arrived at the, the farm. He's got a full load of chips. I've been chipping up there as well, guys. I'll try and explain what I'm trying to do up here just now. It's a bit of a mess. It's a bit, it's a bit erratic up here at the minute. I'm just kind of setting, settling in, guys. Uh, yeah. Right, we're going to deal with this wood chip and then we'll send him back up to the forest area again because it'll not be long before I've got another load for him. As always guys, you know a big thank you for me to you guys for your likes, comments and subscriptions. Keep them coming in, they mean a lot to me guys. Right, I'll leave that guy there, and we'll jump into this chap. Right, we'll sell the wood chip, guys, get some money back in the bank again, our much needed money in the bank again. I like. I have sold a couple of load of logs from from up here as well, guys. You know, so we're back over to the the million mark, guys. Uh, or the bank, but I'm sure that'll turn around pretty quickly between this forest area we've just bought and what's away to happen in spring. I like coffee. Happy days. Right, let's switch over to trailer. So I've been working with just five meter cuts to start with guys, that's what I've been doing up here. Uh, I've got the forwarder set set up, it, it pretty much likes five meter cuts of forwarder, that's basically what just fits into the bed of the forward, forwarder nicely guys, is five meter cuts. So I've been working with five meter cuts and the trailer, the Flago, the Autolo trailer that I had guys obviously still have it but we'll do manual stuff as well I'm actually looking for something here there is a plan here guys I have a planning plan I want to kind of do both up here I want to do manual and I want to do uh, auto load guys so yeah right let me set this guy on to road 11 Send him on his way. And we will jump into this bad boy. And we'll send him up the road as well. Road 11. I don't know if he'll be able to make it from here. Yeah, he will. Up it is. Right. And we're going to jump up into the forest area. 
and I'll show you what's what. So this this Flagel auto load trailer here, what I'm actually managing to do there, guys, is get three loads of five meter cuts on this trailer with about oh, I don't know a bit, I'd say say up to about a meter of an overhang there. If that, I'm happy to run with that, guys. So yeah, I pretty much haven't moved from this area that I stopped us at the other day there. Uh, what I've done is I've put this this workshop up here so I can change between the grapple and the processing timber cutter on this, this Volvo over here guys, you know. So it's a bit slow going and I have to be honest guys, in the real world, you know, I'll keep it real where I can and where I can I won't, but even I know that Volvo down on this sort of, it's starting to get slopey where I am now guys. I wouldn't want to go much further with this thing, if I'm honest, because it's starting to get really steep guys, so I'm kind of thinning out. I know roughly where our border line is on our land here, if I run back over to the junction where we first were guys, just over here. Uh, there's a little creek here and it runs right down here guys and everything left of this creek everything left of this creek all the way down to about here guys I've marked it with a single tree is ours and then basically everything right along here is all ours till about here because it narrows out guys and then it shoots over off on this direction now we've got young trees in here they're not going to grow anymore so we're going to have to decide what we want to do I think we should be best getting in here and getting these chipped uh, I'm not quite sure we'll see so I've been taking the best of the cuts, but what I'm going to start doing, guys, is I'm going to start processing it here properly because we've got pine there and we've also got the big spruces. We've got small spruces at different different heights, guys, different stages of growth, but they're not obviously going to grow because they were put in here when the, the map was, was made, you know, they're not going to grow anymore now. Uh, so... Rather than take it down all just muddled up, I've been basically putting the pines here and other places. I haven't got that far yet, guys. I'm on my own, remember, do you know what I mean? And I've been wrestling with that machine, guys, that Volvo as well, because it really doesn't like the terrain it's on, you know. So we are going to do a bit of hand cutting here as well, guys, so I'll do a bit of winching. Now the reason I'm going to do the hand cutting is I'm going to try and get a bit of a truck dolly sort of set up for longer cuts so we can do maybe, I don't know, 15 meter cuts and maybe dolly those logs down the road. Uh, I haven't really done my homework on it yet guys so I don't even know if there's, if there's stuff out there. Here guys, I just want to park this guy up a minute. Just the guys that are on this road 11. I like to obstruct them guys so they can't get up past this area because Road 11 carries on up there another kilometre or more yet. I'll load him in a minute guys, we'll do an auto load on him in a minute. Uh, yeah, so yeah, it was just over 200,000 for the auto load forwarder, guys. Now, my plan with the, the manual loading, guys, is going to be with the big stuff. The big long cuts I was on about, guys. Uh, and it's them trees there I'm on about. The big spruces, guys. The big 35 meter spruces. Uh... You know what I'm on about. I don't even think I've got one here to show you guys because I haven't done my research on it so much. It's even in here, guys.
No, I don't think it's in here. It might be under trailers actually. Just let me go to forestry equipment a minute. Because I've got a feeling there's one in here, it's a modded one. Maybe not. No. Forestry machinery. You know, it's that type of setup, guys. Customize. It's that type of setup, but you normally put. You normally put like a set of jaws or a platform on the fifth wheel plate there, and then the other bit drags. I don't know, ten meters behind. I don't even know if there's a mod out there to do this yet, guys. I thought giants would have give us the the capability. Of, Moving big logs about like that, but maybe not. I just enjoy doing it, guys. That's why I wanted to. Yeah. Right. Is that them guys up the road? It is. Right, okay. I'll go and stop them two guys. And we'll go and get into this. This Volvo processor. Just jumped into the other one, it would have been quicker. Right, we'll load this guy in a minute or two and we'll send him down the road. I've sent a couple of loads down from here with that Volvo set up there, guys, with a single axle, the old globe trotter there. Uh, yeah, touch wood, everything's been, everything's been, been okay, guys. Uh, yeah. I like. It's a bit slippy in here with this thing, guys. I don't, I don't. I'm still kind of, if I'm honest, I'm, I'm kind of still fingers and thumbs with this machine, guys. Uh, see, there's one of those big trees there. See, it's really bloody steep here, guys. What I've learnt with this harvester here anyway, guys, is... Uh, when you're on the hillside with these machines... quite hard to get a cut marker on them guys. See I've probably got a cut marker there now but it doesn't show up for me for some reason. Not quite sure why guys but it just doesn't. I just wanted to move that out of there a bit. And the forwarder doesn't have a problem coming in here either, guys. Uh, yeah. I just wanted a, a bit of an easy start. That's kind of what I was... heading that guys but I had to go and borrow that 100,000 to be able to do it Let's see if I can get a stroke mark on this but see it never like, ah oh, there it goes
always try and cut them against the tracks here on the hill guys and then they don't they don't roll away you know oh, I've still got that marked up as pine that's not a pine guys that's a spruce what is it Yeah, I did just select spruce. Maybe it's because I've got a tree in the jaws, I don't know. Right, two seconds. Still showing up as spruce, uh, pine. I'm hitting the right key, forward slash on the on the moon pad, or is it on the moon pad? Nah, it's not the moon pad, it's just forward slash on keyboard, right? Okay, spruce it is. Right, guys, I'm not going any further down there because you've seen how bloody steep it is. Uh, I will get a better machine for up here, guys. Uh, I was playing about with them on the other save. Uh, I was playing about with them on the other save, guys, but... There's nothing... I knew the size of the trees that were on this map. I don't mind doing hand cutting guys, you know I don't. Uh, what we'll do is we'll make our way back up to the top here guys. Maybe take us five minutes. <laughs> Actually, we'll try this new winch here, actually. Let's move this old girl out of the way a sec. Let's go and give this new winch a try. These have all probably done it, guys. I haven't, so there you go. Wouldn't give it a try. Oops. Right. There's a big tree there, do you see it? It's up there, there's actually a couple behind us as well. Right. That's one of the big ones there. We'll take that one there down, guys. And we'll try and winch it up the hill. Both of them. give it a D-limb. Oh, hang on. That's it. Okay. 
Right. Let's see if we could pull that up the hell. It's not much for hell. Whereas, guys, it's quite. Ah, oh, dear, every single one. Right, we'll take the, the other one off. We'll take the, the modded one off just now. Keep meaning to take this wee thing into the editor, guys, not the editor, uh, open up the XML and put a wee bit more weight on it. Seems to. Bounce about a bit, guys. Right, let me take this off so it's that one there. is like right, it's over here somewhere isn't it? There's a stump there. That wouldn't be a true test then would it? Right, okay. So can I actually work this thing with the engine off? Yes, I can. And can I go as far as I want to be able to go here? It's going to be a limit though, isn't it? Right, okay. So I reach max limit. So once you reach max limit, the rope then hangs out of your hand. Right, okay. Okay then. Right, this tree is not half the tree that other one was. But we'll still give it a try. That's tiny, that thing, guys. Hate that when you can't see that bloody marker. to go back up to the truck here again. I think I would rather have the modded one, boys. Already gave me a headache. Already. Right, attach his beat. Okay. Gonna tell me you shouldn't have walked over that rope bench there. Uh, yeah, probably. Start engine. Control winch. It's control KRM, so take it. K is in and M is out. Take it. So it's control K. Right, I'll try and show you what's happening here, guys. Right, control K. And 
control, what was the other one? Control K and control N. Right, that releases the rope. Right, okay. It's not the biggest tree in the world, guys. Uh, I'm going to drop one of those big ones, though. Right. So, detach tree from winch is Y. Okay. to the side just now guys right I want one of the giants guys I think this is one here I'm not sure it is actually hang on I've already took one of them down. Where was it? It was down here, wasn't it? That's one there. Oh yeah, I'll take that one. It's easy. Much easier to deal in, guys. Maybe not. Right, let's go and see if the Mercedes will pull it up. Just watch because there is a few stumps still in here guys, I don't... I just use the, the chainsaw to de-stump guys, but I do... in behind after the harvester's finished in here. I haven't had that much time in here guys, a couple of hours I thought. Right, let's see if I can get that to... Uh, right. So we'll go this way, where are oh, there we are. Hey boys. I don't know if it picks up on what surface you're on or if you're on grass or like before we were up there on on like gravel, you know. She can pull her. Oh, easy tiger. Aye, the tree just pulled me there, guys. I wasn't even ready for it. Right, let me put it. 
bench back on so it's control K. I think what happened there is when the tree fell from the branches of the other tree it pulled the old, the old girl back there. And that's the way to do it again guys. You pull with it. Yeah, you can, guys, but it's, it's really hard. So that's a negative. So let me Oh I see you can jump out and still control it from here as well. Alright, okay. If you go back down to the tree, I'm sure you can untie as well. Attach another tree, detach from that tree. Okay. Right, we're asking a bit much of the old girl there in that new winch setup, but here, it's pretty realistic, guys. If anything, so I can't knock it. Uh, Yeah, let's go and get the modded one. <laughs> now nah, we'll go and get the we're we'll gonna get the forwarder here guys and we'll get some of these trees lifted off of that ground there and then we'll get this truck loaded. Send them down the road and see what we're getting a load here. Uh yeah. I actually do like this thing, guys. Right, just I just want to check my loading position was there and my unload position is there. Yeah, I'm going to start splitting these up, chaps. So we'll split them up with the spruce, pine. Uh, I'm not going to go by size, though, guys. But I will go by, I will go by variety. Uh, size is a minefield. I like it all load. I will do manual in here, but I'm going to do it with these full size ones, so we're probably going to have to use the real winch here, guys. Uh, or not the real winch, but. Uh, I'll wait till I unload that actually, guys. That's exactly why. Keep that one over there because it's, it's, it's that red pine, it's the Scots pine, isn't it? Uh, the Get them separately, guys. I actually do like this machine, guys.
I probably will get a Scorpion King in here, that's the thing. Uh, I would like a Scorpion King, so guys, it can pretty much cut. All with the big trees in here. See that young stuff there? I might actually just keep that. I might just go to the other... Well, well I'm going to have a look to see what... Is that the other side, guys? See, that was my limit for the Volvo there, B load. I take that as a load there, guys. She'll get out of here anyway, guys. She's a good cooler, this thing. I haven't touched this thing either, guys. I haven't touched it. That's why I'm saying it's a good mod. I like... See that bad boy. They do get you all wrapped up like you won't beat them. Try and go over the top of them. <laughs> Just sit there and spin, don't you? game's just like, oh, you're not fucking going anywhere, you're staying there. I'm going to make a fool of you for five minutes. I'm going to sit there and fucking spin your head off. I'm going to make you have a fucking heart attack. <laughs> Seriously, come on. Go on, I like. See, there's all those different types of woods there. There are different types of trees, them guys, you know what I mean? Obviously. I'm not splitting them up, guys. I'm not doing it. I like the game. I'm not sure I fucking like it that much to split it all up into different... Whether it's paper pulp or... It's going to be used for furniture or... You know what I mean? Unload is that one, is it? Right. We'll go and get another load and then we'll load that sixteen. And we'll send her down the road. We should actually load it now actually, but send it down the road. See what we get for a load guys. Right, I'm gonna go for these these Scots pine here, these red. Sounds 
some mode over here, I think. Yeah, there they are, there. Take them up separately, guys, because there is no that, that color, a lot of pain. Oh, baby. Nice little white tail there. Right. You can see two different colours in that, that sort of red pile of pine there, but it is the same tree, it's just that the bottom half of those 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 pines are redder and they become darker, the bark becomes a darker colour uh, as it comes down to the, the trunk of the tree, you know. good tool that guys. For a single player guys, you know I can you know what I mean, you know what I'm like, I'll I'll do this by hand guys. I'll pull it out by hand as well. I done it off from my first forest area. We'll do it here again guys. But I'm gonna try and just do that with the bigger trees. Uh let me switch that so nope, oh, not picking that baby up. No. All right. Okay. So if you if you load downhill, it still loads them over the the headboard, right? Okay. That's all right. I can live with that. fix it in a minute guys, I'll just load it now and then fix it in a minute, we're going to have to get those two trees brought up the road there guys So I've cut into this a little bit guys, it's not a whole lot, I haven't had a whole lot of time on the game if I'm honest, you know, uh, yeah, right let's get this big Volvo loaded, let me tidy this load up a minute first.
I'll just do the same with the Volvo, I'll just pull upside there guys, I'm not manual loading the day. Got auto load on, so that's where I'm gonna go. Unload is I like trucking. Right, so this guy should still all be set up. I've got him all set up. Thomas, put into comments there about drive control. You're best slowing your vehicle down and drive control. Yep, I've pretty much done that, I think, Thomas. I'll just double check for this this guy here. So you hit the cog wheel on the auto drive. Window. Yeah, like right, corner speed, I've got them down to 50%, guys. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let me close that window. get rid of these ones here because they're in the way. I'm going to try and do something here in this area anyway. We'll do a bit of landscaping here and we'll get a bit of a staging area here guys. Just a little bit. I'm not going to open it up massively. Just a little teeny bit. Right, so start is B. I don't know she's doing that. Oh, it's because she's pointing down the hill guys. She'll be alright. She'll be okay. He says, not. Gonna unload these a second, guys. That's it. No, nah, it's the hell, guys. It doesn't like the hell. Let me come off the hell. Da -da 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 -da. That's why I'm gonna make a little bit of a staging area here, guys. Uh, There's always one, isn't there? You know what's actually wrong, guys? Hang on. That's why the logs kept falling out. I didn't realise until I wondered why they kept falling out the side. Oh, right, okay. Should move on to the third pile on its own, guys. Should. Oh, 
I'll switch pile a minute, guys. Uh, pile one. We'll load a bit more on that. <laughs> it's a recipe for fucking disaster. Nah, it's not really, guys. It's it's actually a nice little load, but it's just that second, that middle pile. I'm gonna leave it at that, guys. That'll do. Let's see if I can get up there, guys. We can do it from the head here, can't we? Eat it. Right, just leave it in there boys, that'll do it. Right, I'm going to send this guy down in drive control, but he should be okay guys, should. Should have took that one off there actually. The whole trailer's slipping, do you see that? Why is it doing that? See that? Probably just overloaded, guys. What does it say I've got on board there? I'm sure there used to be. There was a way to show you. Uh, the tonnage. No? Well, I dreamt that, guys. <laughs> Let's chop it away first. Send this guy in the road. Right, so send him to farm silo and see how he gets on. Like I say, he should be okay. Uh, I'm going to bring his speed down here, guys. To one fifty four kilometers. I 
If I cut them, they're five meter cuts with a one mark. I'm okay, I'm like, it's not a bad load, guys, actually. It seems to be nice and steady, that's the thing. It, it is quite high. If I'd kept it below its 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 markers, it would... Let's just see how he gets on. Because I don't want to keep sending these guys down the road and then all of a sudden I'm going to be picking them up off their belly every two minutes because it starts to grind on you guys. Let's see, what, I'll just stick with them. Like I say, I've already sent one down and he was okay, but... I've took this, this trailer maybe just... Well, just past its danger markers, so... It's top heavy markers, you know. And this road isn't the best, but on saying that, whoever recorded drive control done up. A half decent. A half decent job, guys. Right, we're going to let him go, I think. So what I think I'll start doing, guys, is I'm going to use our farm as my cell point. I know my two processing plants I've checked already today, guys. They don't need any wood. They need topped up, but they don't, they don't need any just now. There's enough to keep them going. Uh, like I said, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure you can speed the rate at which production works at. I can't do it over in the grain mill, even if I can do that, I'm not sure. I probably dreamt that as well. Uh, yeah. Right, we'll wait and see what happens here. Because I've got traffic on now, but it should be okay. Eh? I haven't had any problems with, with the traffic to drive control yet. Right, he's on the road, so he'll make it to the farm now anyway, so I'm happy days to let them guys go now. Right, I'll go and get these other ones. I like all road. So like I said at the start of this pre-recording guys, you know, that's the type of thing I want to do. I want to try and bring these some of these big trees out as full length. Well not full, full length trees, but you know Yeah, you know what type of setup I'm looking for guys. I'm gonna have to go out there and stop being body lazy and uh and see if there's anything out there, guys. There probably is on the American side, I would say. Uh, did I get all that lifted, guys? I must have done. Wait, I forgot the marker. Oh, yeah. that marker it does not keep them guys nope. right, we're gonna have to try and get that tree there up the road now uh, just use the other winch guys you know Right, 
out and we stripped that one, didn't we? We'd already done that one. Wasn't that big of a tree anyway. Right, we do a bit of processing to finish off with guys. That guy will give us a shout when he gets there. Uh, uh, That's exactly what I mean. There's no need for all that that movement there just because that that branch stumped out on the ground there. There's no need for that. Has this platinum DLC had an update yet guys? These no? I'm not that up on what's happening. I do play my game through Steam so my, my game will be up to date anyway guys. I'm just I've got my mouse set quite fast as well guys but the downside to that is when I, s I speed my mouse up as much as that my camera in game pays for it as well guys you know I think you sit way far too back in these machines. It'll just be me. What other camera do you use? Oh, it's that one. Yeah. It's always the same camera view. I don't like that inside camera view, guys. I don't. I don't like the seating position in that one. It and that one there for sure. Touch those little ones, guys. I just chip them. There's a big boy over here. We'll go and get him, and then we'll go and get this. This Volvo. Uh, yeah. Get all three of them actually, guys. See your 
your depth of view, guys, is or your field of view or whatever you want to call it, guys, it's it's rubbish, guys, on this. Absolutely rubbish. Uh, and it's not my eyesight, guys, because I've got my glasses on. <laughs> Why don't you get a cut marker on some of these sometimes? Because I know I'm hugging that tree. starts to get steep over there as well guys we've got all that above us as well get that cut marker but it has to be the green one guys and see on these trees here you just can't fucking get it sometimes that's why I, I always come in from below guys uh, rather than above the tree when you're on the hillside because see trying to get the cut marker guys it's just not seriously I'm going to have to go further up to get it guys I know you the big tree guys because you get a lot of cuts off of that. Okay chaps. Might as well jump out there because I can see him. Right. We'll go and unload this. See how much we get for it guys. Nice little load. Right, so where do we go? Right. Go there. Oh, 
ты. Should have just sold it chunk by chunk. That was twenty one thousand, seven thousand. Four and a half thousand. Thousand. We need these sums, boys. We need these sums. I like. Right. Let me get rid of that there. So, so. Send this guy back up to Road 11 because that's all you're going to be doing, mate. Riding, I can keep up with. But of course, right, chaps. I'm going to get a load of logs and carry on here, guys. As always, you know, a big thank you for me to you guys for your likes, comments, and Subscriptions keep coming in, and you know what to me, guys. Yeah. Oh, just went over the top of one there. You don't even see them sometimes, guys. Or I don't, anyway. Come on. Nope. That's about the only way I reckon I'm going to keep up with this this guy driving up and down the road. Uh, These are the ones that are worth money, see these ones here guys, oh yeah. Last two. Oh, is he take up? Yeah, I should be able to keep up with him alright guys. I need to block his path. He's got a load here anyway, if not two, so I should should be able to stay in front of us. It's 
set on what 56 I'm just gonna push this tree devour just down in front of this road here so he can't get up here and I'm pretty sure they cut through that corner there guys sure they do find out I like okay chaps that's probably well over an hour here uh, Trees there, guys. <coughs> Happy days, that's what we want. I like. There is actually a lot of pines in here, guys, a lot. Happy days. Right, that's pretty much us up to date with trees there, so I'm going to have to do a bit of processing here now until he comes. Okay guys, not that exciting I know, but that's what's going on here. Uh, once we get better machinery up here, I get in front of myself a little bit, we'll be able to keep this pretty much going summer and winter now, uh, not just winter we'll be able to keep it going both summer and winter so yeah happy fucking days right guys okay as always you know a big thank you from me to you guys for your likes comments and subscriptions keep coming in they mean a lot to me guys and i'll see you in the next recording catch you later ah oh, where's the whiskey man <laughs>